Go here. What I want to do in this video presentation today is talk about sides, which is a series motion set that we call out of our one four high alignment offensively. And the concept of it is very similar to, and in fact, it is, is used by Tony Bennett, the coach at University of Virginia, and popularized by his father, Coach Dick Bennett, which is the blocker motion set on offense. Uh, so from our previous videos, we've talked about having our four and five operate on each side of the lane. Uh, so we're often operating with a three out perimeter, two in post setup, although sometimes it becomes a four out, one in uh, with one of those posts in the high post area. So it lends itself very well to the blocker movement motion offense. Uh, where we just make our four and five be blockers on one side of the floor, very similar uh, to our wing series and post series, except now we're setting screens for three, what are called movers, on the perimeter. And depending on the range and the agility and the ability of the screeners, you can have them operate all the way up to half court, uh, to the baseline, and then out to the sidelines. Or you can restrict them to, to settling down the lane if you want them to, to be more of a post presence. We've talked in previous videos about against the great defensive pressure to use this set, having that blocker really come out, for example, if the defense is on the line, up the line, and just nail with the back screen uh, all the way out on the perimeter. The other part that we've talked about in the wing series and post series is that the perimeter players are always rotating and filling around the perimeter. And if you watch the University of Virginia basketball team on television, uh, their three movers do this very effectively. They're always rotating and moving in and out. And the blockers can set down screens. They can set flare screens. If this person has the ball. Set ball screens. It can operate entirely on this level. Uh, there's even a set where we, we call double, where we have both blockers screen opposite from the ball. So there's a lot of flexibility with this kind of motion setup, having, having back screens. And then what it does allow is then. Post players can settle in to the post. Then we're into our wing series in essence. They can fill the high post and get the ball. Then we're running our post series. But we've got a lot of flexibility because of the foundation that we've built with the post series, with the wing series, and the one for high offense. This side series just adds a little bit of flavor, adds a little bit of motion. So we could be at that down screen action, that flare screen action, that ball screen action. That back screen action. Uh, you can even occasionally have the, the blockers screen for each other in a cross screen setup as well. So that's our side setup that we run out of the 1 4 high offense. Uh, you've probably seen a, a reference as blocker mover. So we've got the post players designated as, as the screeners or the blockers for all these movers on the perimeter. Now, certainly the movers can be involved in double screens, they can set cross screens for each other, they can cross. They, call, they can do all kinds of different things. But the essence of it is we want the movers to create movement and action that makes them hard to guard as cutters. But we want the blockers being able to set good solid screens to get those movers open. The, con the concept and the thought of it was that the movers tend to be more the natural scorers, whether they're making basket cuts, curl cuts, where they're, they're popping on the perimeter, getting ball screens and drives. And then the blockers are the folks that are good at setting screens, they're very intelligent players, can handle the ball, and perhaps even post up. That's our side concepts uh, using blocker mover from Coach Dick Bennett. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.